Thank you, Shun. We are at uh, 11 minutes past 8 now, and Lorraine this morning is at Dirks. Yes, she is showing us how to celebrate this year's grad in style. Don't forget about the flowers, Andrea and Shay. Take a look down. Okay. Flowers in the park, and Sherwood Park has brought this in from Holland the first time ever that Holland has been able to come up with a rose like that. And look how it marries with the dress, and look how that marries in turn with her date and his look. And then look at the corsages and the boutonnieres and how they match wristband or whether they wear it on their on their lapel and ping on one yeah and pin it on what do you need to know as a florist samantha um, i need to know most important is the color of the dress and the style of the dress uh, so we can decide the wrist or the ping on one okay yeah. and then if you want to take it a step further you do this yes uh, that's uh, with the boy to pick up the girl from the house that uh, that would be really nice that bring a bouquet of flowers yeah okay so these flowers are flowers in the park sherwood park the big question question is this, if the girl is going to spend over $1,000 on grad, which these girls tell me is the average, the guy's about 1000 what happens if you don't have that kind of money? Glamorous gowns is one option. We're going to tell you what that's all about in just a few minutes.